Hey, what's going on? This is Adam Simmons from the Simmons and More podcast, and I got a fat dick. <laughs> <laughs> Only on the NSFW podcast network. Order up. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome to the plunge. Um, today is a day. Today is a day. We're it's bringing been a that back. Day. I'm in Europe. I am your host, GB. Grave Beard, Grave Beard Hunter, man. Joining us as always is Devious Dave and Riley T. Say hello, guys. Hello, hello. friendo. How I'm are you? I'm kidding. T- Say what's up, guys. <laughs> what's up? Okay, there you go. Better. Hi. Hello. Hi. And joining us, a special guest, uh, B Team Bin Bin. Say hi. Hello, people. And then say what's up. What's up? If you're at least a six, call me. All right. So <laughs> before we get yeah. this episode going too much, we I'm, cur- so, I'm sorry, a four. If you're at least a four, call me. I would like to get straight into an argument that me and... So as many of you remember, we... Okay. This is the drunk episode. Number. 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 Do you want us to join in? Or? Dos. Number two. Oh, uh, 30. Episode number 30, drunk episode number two. Every other 10th episode, we're going to get cocked. I would like to say that the last drunk episode, it was just right. It, it was, was just me, but now. It's half everyone. cocked. But, but who's drunk? Me. Me. So, me. Just enough to make it interesting. And Hunter. So we have Hi. <laughs> we have six people in studio today. Four will be on the episode. We are joined by... Producer Kyle, B Team Kyle. Kyle, say hello for your one small intro to the episode. Hello, everyone. You'll be heard in laugh tracks and producer Tuba, not allowed to talk, but he's here. Uh, so we're all drunk. It's great. This is the first full drunk plunge. <laughs> so this is the drunk episode number two. Welcome, everybody. Um, you feel welcomed. Thank you. So before we start too much, I would like to introduce. So. As many of you know, me and Hunter, in episodes 1, 2, 1, and 2. 1, 2, 12. 12. Well, no, not 12. Just one episode 1 and episode 2. You said we, number 11. We had <laughs> arguments over a said bread bowl. We had an argument. It was a tarnish to our friendship. It was the only thing we fought about. It, yeah, it, I, I would say that it made me not want to hang out with you. Yeah, and like since then, our friendship's been perfect. Too good. Honestly, too good. Too good. Until... The other day, I went to hibachi with my brother and my family. And my brother was like, hey, man, if you just put an egg on a burner, do you think it would cook the whole thing? And I was like, I don't go even further than that. I'll say it. I bet if you shook an egg a bunch and put it on a hot stove, that it would cook a scrambled egg within an eggshell. Which is fucking wrong. To which Hunter said no. <laughs> so... Instead of, like, dragging this out across two episodes to where we can test and stuff, we have a stove right now on our plunge table, on the studio table. And it's that is fucking hot in it here. It is a million degrees I in the studio. I am sweating Ooh. in my ball sack right now. We have a... We have a... <laughs> We have soggy st- coin purses. We have a <laughs> yeah. We have soggy coin purses, and we have a stove going right now in studio that is currently has a skillet on it that is cooking two full large brown eggs, not cracked, just within the shells. Just large. One that says scrambled. Uh, me and Joe, we spent about twenty minutes just shaking it, just yep, trying just... to break the membrane, trying to break the yolk within the shell. The shell. It, it, we are. Going to make it scrambled. We did. Set. No, no, no. We don't, we're not going to make it scrambled. We already did, and now it's just cooking. It's just cooking. <laughs> it's All right, going to work. We're going to prove Hunter wrong. That's and b- and Hunter, false. Hunter has one egg on there that has not been shaken at all. He just thinks it'll cook like a hard, not a hard, bo- kind of like a hard boiled egg. Literally sunny side up or just in like general. A, like any, a hard boiled egg. I want to say anything that isn't scrambled. Yeah, yeah, anything yeah. Anything that isn't like scrambled you, is a victory to yeah, me. Yeah, you think it'll be either like su- over easy or literally just like a hard, kind of like a hard boiled yeah. egg. Literally. It's been cooking a while, so it might come out looking like a hard boiled egg. Yeah, that's true. You think, but you I, think our scrambled you just, egg will also. You are just so dead set on it being a a hard-boiled egg. Literally anything that isn't a hard-boiled egg is a win to me. Well, for your egg, I, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. 
doubting that your egg might look like a hard-boiled egg, but you countered that there's no way in fucking Yeah, there's hell. no way in fuck that that thing's going to... How are you going to puncture the yolk? <laughs> with I, shaking. With shaking. I would like to say this. so hard. I would like to say this. It's going to explode. Riley's currently gonna explode. jerking his egg off right now. <laughs> One of the eggs is going to explode. I will All tell right, you that. And it is going on the stove right now. So our egg, both eggs are on... Both eggs are on the stove. They're ready to go. We're going to keep you updated. I'm going to be turning them bare, bare finger just on the stove. Keep, it's right next to me. Keep it's in literally... mind, we have a fork that he could use, but he told me as we were setting it up, no, I trust my hands more. <laughs> so Drunk uh, so... Riley's going to stick his hand into a hot pan. <laughs> Drunk Riley's ro- going to rotate these eggs like they're a s'more. If you have a s'more, if you have a marshmallow, open open fire. If you leave it too long, it's going to burn. So I've been rotating both eggs so they can get a wonderful cook. Usually you rotate it with a stick like a fork, but you don't be, use cause it. Because, like, to be fair, I want Hunter's Egg to have some success. Hey. I want us to be able to eat some eggs. Like, are, you, are you up at camp just holding marshmallows on in your hand? I'm sure not. I'm sitting here rotating fucking large brown what? eggs <laughs> over a fucking skillet. But that's okay. Uh, so... <laughs> We're gonna keep you updated as our egg cooks, but we have uh we actually have um pro all all state pro producer tuba on the on the screens and he he's got a picture of bird box. Alright, so as many of you know, we tried to guess two episodes ago in episode twenty eight. We tried to Was- guess don't doubt me. Okay. Yeah. I know okay. everything. We tried to guess the plot of Bird Box solely using memes. Bird Box. Since then, <laughs> since then, <laughs> since then, we have watched Bird Box. It was shit. That it's garbage horrible. ass Terrible. movie. We Wal- have watched Walmart Terrible. brand. Walmart brand of a quiet place. Now, before we get too into the episode, I'd like to give a little warning that you're gonna hear a few of these. You're gonna hear a few of these. You're going to hear just a lot of drinking cuz we're we're continuing our drunk on to the night for you for you fans out there. Wonderful all, people. All 12 of you plungers. 13. 13. So, <laughs> we're going to be drinking for you guys. Oh, oh, the the eggs getting hot. I can I can <laughs> see the egg. It's starting to brown. I'm going to turn them. Yours is kind of <laughs> fucked up. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it was a it's little bit explode. cracked and it looks like it's starting to like Come a little it bit. Smells, <laughs> it, explodes. it smells like shit in here. I'm taking my sweatshirt off because it's fucking a million degrees. Yeah, you don't want to get cum on some dribble cum on that sweatshirt. <laughs> dribble cum is well, coming that's what out it looks of the like. eggs. It, dude, it's coming out slowly and turning like cum white. <laughs> but also, I think it'll... Riley's wearing a shirt that says I was a Hot, hot shot. shot. Oh, hot shot. This the- is from my elementary school basketball team. I was fat at the time, so my shirt still fits me. You fuck. My twelve, my ten year old t- uh, basketball best. shirt still fits me Dude, as a twenty two year old. I remember that. That was so fun. <laughs> so fuck you. That's just because just That's I was shirt. an obese child doesn't mean I'm an obese man. So fuck yeah, you, asshole. It's a nice ass shirt. <laughs> So bird box. <laughs> so, <laughs> so birds and boxes. As we were talking about, which let me tell you, my favorite scene was when they fell into the rapids. I know, spoiler alert, they fall into some rapids and the box gets wet with the birds in it, but then they get on shore and then they're just like, nah, birds are good. <laughs> Are you, done? Are you done? That movie just sucked. It, like, did. it, it was, was terrible. Trash. To be it fair, terrible. Doug. 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 Doug was a wonderful takeaway. He's an absolute homie. Doug was putting up with no one shit. He played the exact same role he played in that Brad Pitt movie. Is it Burn After Reading? And Sandra Bullock is very hot. Yeah, look at these fucking photos. Oh my Sam- God. Oh. Sam- I would do illegal things. So no, Sandra she's Bullock. Fine. She's legal. Sandra Bullock. <laughs> looks, she looked 35 years old in this movie. Does anyone have a guess of how old she was? Uh 45, 60, 40, 62, 41. 42, 42. Yeah, I'm going to So like I know she's been around for a while. I'm going to guess 44. Like 40, she looked 44, too hot in this movie. She was an she, absolute smoke. She was like, fucking bang. Was I'm I'm going to I'm going to make a bold take. She looked like Margot Robbie like Wolf of Wall Street oh, hot. Yeah. Like uh, wow. she looked uh, hot. No, Dude, her shit. Uh, her shit Yes. was tight. Okay, so... She was also produ- pregnant. Producer Tuba's got it. Holy shit! 
Dude, Mark 54. Is 54. 54 Lies. years old. Lies. Lies. Sandra Bullock is 54. There's no way. She, mm. is, she is she the hottest old lady? To, producer, so her only competition I'd say is Gwen Stefani and J Lo. Can we get some Jennifer Aniston? Can, oh, can we get some age? Aniston. Can we get some age checks on J Lo and Gwen Stefani? J Lo is forty nine. J Lo is forty nine. Okay. Why do you know that? Don't worry about that. <laughs> Why do you know that? All so right. Confirmed. Yeah. Confirmed. confirmed. And, Jennifer uh, Aniston. Fifty three. Can we, can, we, can, we get a, can we get a Gwen Stefani check? That's the only Gwen thing. Stefani. Here we go. So oh, yeah, both of the Jennifers are for, Jennifers are 49. Jennifers. Gwen Stefani. 49! Another 49. All right. 49. She's the hottest. She's the hottest of the olders. She is. No, she's I the think oldest. Jennifer well, she's Aniston. She's the oldest. She's the oldest. I got to give it to her. She's five years older than she, all the other traditionally yeah. old she, hot I people. will say she doesn't look as old as the, as the other ones, but oh, she's... Fucking banging. Dude, is 49 the new, like, 24? 49's the new 18. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm okay with that. Yo, so, like, so 47 is the new 16? I'm going to keep that in mind. You see, <laughs> for the year 1969, great meme, gave us hot women. It was hot women. Ooh. Stop it, Tuba. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Tuba, Stop it. Tuba's just turning us on. Oh, shit, my egg is fucking yoking. It's oh, fucking yeah. fucking you might as well it's leaking. put on Pornhub, Tuba. It might, all right, so my, my egg is leaking now. There's a good amount of membrane peeking out of my egg. It looks like know. somebody microwaved cum on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep rotating them. Don't you worry. Um... Uh, <laughs> the fucking egg. Dude, so mine. Like I'd like to point out. I wrote in Sharpie mine just the word scramble. So we know who's is who. But mine is cracking, so that already gives an immediate sign of who's is who. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Speaking Christ. of, I know no one's speaking about it, but uh, wild card games were tonight. Football. You, you know football. who has the solution? Oh, football. Yes, football. Oh, football. Football. We we football. had a, we had a game this week, right? Do we have a game? Our fantasy, our fantasy team, our fantasy team. Yeah, we, we didn't. We, we lost. Didn't, we didn't play. No. We didn't play. What, what happened? How did how did I guys do? What uh, how do? Did, what pass did we come in? So I don't Hunt, know. Hunter, what are you talking about? With football? <laughs> so our running. Our, how did our running back? Do we have two or run, one running back? Tony Stark. We had Pat Mahomes. Do we have? Do we have Pat Mahomes? Do we have? We a, had Iron Man. Can someone yeah, tell Iron me Man. who's on our team? <laughs> Iron Man. <laughs> Is Iron Man on our team? Yes. Who's playing defense? No, Iron Man has the solution. Who's on first? What's happening? Iron Man has the solution. To CTE. Wait, what? Is he on our team? Whoa. We, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Someone We're, told me. Uh, uh, Tony Stark's our wait, quarterback. Wait, 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 wait. Are you behind our fantasy football team? Yeah, he is. Your team Stark. I'm no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. You yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. No, no, no. I just want to know who's on our team. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen Linda. All right. Team, <laughs> Cap. <laughs> team Cap is better than... Team Stark. Fuck. Iron Man. No, How are you tell me? Wait, wait, wait. How do we get here? Oh. Oh. Tony Stark Tony, has Tony. solved CTE. Yeah. Is he on our team? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I'm so glad I never knew my team then. Dude, but just think about it. Iron Man's getting shot by tanks, hit by F-150 Fords. Sponsor us. Fords. <laughs> he, we're fighter. Like, we've... we've fighter jets. The yeah. Plunge has watched the first six Marvel movies, which involves three Iron Mans and an Avengers. Tony Stark's gotten the living shit kicked out of him. And you but know, he had... You know how many concussions he's had in the process? None. Not a single Zero. one. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this out there. What would be more interesting to watch in the professional football league? Guys with Iron Man suits? <laughs> yes. Or guys injected with Captain America's serum? <laughs> guys like, in Iron Man suits do the I, Pacific right, Rim listen, football listen. style. Listen. Pacific Rim football style? That's actually good. Dude, that'd be that's, fucking yeah. sick. You ever play Titanfall? There you go. Out <laughs> of football. Bam. <laughs> Next great sport. Yeah. Do they just have cannons, though? And like, oh, that guy's running away? All right, just cannon shot at him. So, like, I'd, I'd like to... Like, Tony Stark has... He's healed fucking CTE. This man is taking numerous punches to the face, the chest. He's taking tackles. He's taking he's taking Cam Chancellor bing bongs. He's gotten okay. fucked up. Pre- Tony Stark is pretty much the Fox pregame like robot. Yeah. <laughs> like, Ex- exact definition. Like, right there. So like I feel like he's taken enough hits and has had you said it zero, zero. concussions. None. Zero concussions. Not we a need, single one. We need Disney to work with the NFL to continue the longevity of the NFL. Like, I love fantasy football, but I know, like, in 20, 25 years, it's probably not going to be around. Nope. Dude, because wait. This is, like, modern-day cribbage. Not cribbage. Quidditch. <laughs> <laughs> 
modern day Quidditch. Modern day Dude, Quidditch. this is gonna be like modern day Quidditch. <laughs> like we're gonna be flying around with fucking we Iron Man. We suits. don't need to be flying around. We just need him to work with his helmet. Just like, the helmet. Yeah. We just need him to bring less his helmet. CTEs. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh no! We have enough cooked egg from my egg to share. If anyone Ooh. wants to eat some. Ugh. I got Ugh. a little oh, piece. Oh, dude, that looks fucking gross. It looks like a... It's an egg white. Dude, it, it looks is... rubbery. Oh! oh! He ate it. What does it taste like? Tastes like egg, I'm going to be honest with is you. Is it good? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do eggs taste good? Yeah. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Usually. I like eggs. It tastes like normal egg. No. Egg with no seasoning. <laughs> egg white with no seasoning. <laughs> um, Tony Stark could heal CTE. Yeah, dude. If Tony Stark was around like 20 years ago, Wes Welker would have a thriving career right now. Oh, well, like, yeah. Dude, if Tony Stark was around like, what, last year, two years ago? Aaron it's Hernandez, like seven years ago. Aaron, when he killed himself? He killed himself like two years ago. Yeah, but he but was like, in prison. Like, but but he killed, oh, yeah, you guess he yeah, killed yeah, people yeah. out if of If he was anger. around seven years ago, Aaron yeah. Hernandez wouldn't have had CTE and he wouldn't have killed himself. Junior we Seau would still be around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So our solution here is... We need the NFL to get in communications with Disney, Disney. who owns Marvel. Yep. Disney owns Marvel. They sure do. I and did they, not know that. And, and Robert Downey Jr. And they get they need to get in talk with Robert Downey Jr. Robert. 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 Because he has everything that needs to be known <laughs> about the Iron Man suit. He invented the suit. And uh, suit we need we need Iron Man to join the NFL. Yeah. Not to play, but more of to mentor, create helmets and whatnot. Let's just let's just say an Iron Man suit NFL. Everyone gets an Iron Man suit. Dude, like I said, this modern day modern Quidditch. Day, uh, yeah. And we're talking NFL so much right now because I am currently on an airplane going to London. <laughs> What? Um, well, so the <laughs> what? thing is, the thing well, is, we're two weeks. We're not. We're two weeks ahead. This is a, a pre-recorded episode. We'll let you know that right that's now. That's a that's a lie. It's it's current. We're drunk we're right live. now. It's <laughs> live. We're drunk right now. It's, it's what, definitely nine a.m. It's not Wild Card Weekend. The Colts didn't just shit on the Texans. <laughs> Texas didn't just shit the bed. Yeah, no. They um, haven't gotten twenty. I'm rotating points. some eggs right now. It's <laughs> fucking. It's, it's hot. It's fucking it's, hot in here. It's so hot here. It smells so bad. Ugh. Why did we do this? It's we need for, for science. It's for science. Off in a few minutes, it's getting too hot. Have you ever like? <laughs> have you ever steam cooked an egg? Probably not. We're not no. steam nope. cooking eggs. We're fucking heat cooking eggs <laughs> through. Eggs. So we're cooking eggs. We're cooking eggs through. It's not even hard boiling though. That's the thing. No, nope, it's literally just putting eggs on a pan and just heating it up. <laughs> I think we're going to win. I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm going to win. Ours is starting to leak. It's very cracked, but I think that shows it's cooked. I feel cooked. like it's, it's... Well, yeah, it's cooked, but it's not scrambled. We're scrambled, I'm going right? to eat some more of the outside it's eggs. I'm going to eat some more of the membrane. Joe, would you like... Joe, you need to eat a piece of the membrane uh, as a te- part of Team team Scrambled. Does yes! It, does How's it, it taste? Not good. Like an, <laughs> like an egg white? Like an egg like white. An egg yeah, white. Yeah. Confirmed a... a a fucking Ugh. fried egg in the shell, not great. <laughs> not well, great. well, well, it's a fried egg outside of the shell. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be a fried egg in a shell. Outside of the shell. Outside. We're all Listen. eating our eggs later. That's I'm not the thing. eating my egg. You're eating your I'm egg. I'm not eating you my need, egg. You need. You have Dude, to. Dude, ref- I'm going to yak if I eat my egg. I don't even like eggs. That's fine. You have to eat you yours because you think it's going to come out as a as a over easy or hard boiled egg. I'm we're, not ours eating my com- fucking egg. <laughs> so what happens if we're both right? I think we win if ours comes out scrambled, correct? Does that mean that we just go back to having a good friendship? Because I don't want that. Well, no. So <laughs> no, I think because if you, ours is scrambled. Then, that confirms then my, then my theory. Yeah, but I would win too if mine. Didn't. You won't win yours. We're just cooking no. yours. Is it a stalemate? We're cooking yours as like a. <laughs> as, as a <laughs> what's a an X? What is it an X variable? <laughs> um, <laughs> what's the what's the variable that like? No, this. Is, oh. <laughs> oh no! I oh, pushed no. your egg too it hard. It breaks. Your egg. Uh, genuinely looked hard boiled inside. We're gonna it let did. it continue oh, yeah. to cook. We're gonna let it continue to cook. It genuinely <laughs> looked hard boiled, but like, all right. So yours is yours is very cracked now. I apologize. I've I have heavy. Mine fingers. was the superior egg though because I am yours drunk. was cracked. And mine <laughs> mine wasn't. was cracked within like four minutes of being on the burn. Yeah, we it's need okay. to find the chicken that laid my egg and put it in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> superior. He probably wouldn't get impeached. You know. <laughs> 
wouldn't have so many social media problems. All right, so we would like to make a mid-episode announcement. Davis's little brother has broken down on the highway. Boo. So we're making a mid-game substitution, uh... A devious day for uh, B Team Kyle. This is a double B Team episode. This is, a double B-team. B-team. is this the B-team. first double B Team episode we've had? I don't no. think so. I think we've had B Team Joey Dave, and B Team Davey. Me and Dave mm-hmm. have been on the same. But I would like to just keep saying this because Hunter thinks he's right. We're fucking yeah, superior. I'm fucking wrong. You're, you were you're not fucking superior. wrong. It's all about the eggs. I can't wait till the A Team can't be here oh, and the, uh, there's just a straight B Team episode. It's going to be Dave. Fucking Joe, Kyle. If I'm still on that episode, I'm joining the B team. Just for the day. day. Hey guys, B team GB here. (laughs) BGB! BGB! (laughs) It's a different person. Totally different personality. Yeah, BPS. B team (laughs) poo stick. Jesus Christ. Alright, so (laughs) we fucking... We've wandered far too much. I um, think that it's time to take the eggs off and get the final result. Yeah, we got to check sure? these up. Are you sure? All right, sure. we're going to let them cool sit. down a bit. Let them, let them, cool down a bit, let them yeah. really settle. Because it's like when you take a steak off. You take it off at rare. You let it set. Yeah, they you, look, you, you take they it off at different. Yeah, you take, the, you take a steak off at rare so it can get to medium rare. Mm. You know, medium, medium rare. So we're going to let them sit for a bit. I don't like my eggs All medium. Right. I like my eggs. All right. Oh, that Here sounds harder Ooh. than that one. Ooh, you know why? Because it's scrambled. Ooh, no, it's not. It's all scrambled. <laughs> what is a hard scrambled egg? <laughs> hard boiled scrambled egg. Hard boiled scrambled egg. I don't know how to explain that. Does anyone? It's not a th- it doesn't exist. <laughs> this is a hard boiled fried egg. <laughs> the first of its A part. hard fried scramble. <laughs> all right. So while we let these eggs sit, Hunter. You and I almost nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> we all, yeah. You and yeah. me were in the car the other day, and we almost annihilated a fat garbage man. <laughs> yeah, so me and Riley went to the Pizza Hut buffet with a friend of the podcast, Poity. Shout out, by the way. Shout out. Um, you may know him as the guy who thinks <laughs> a... Dishwasher fills up completely with water to wash your dishes. <laughs> Bingo. Um, and as we're turning on to Riley Street, which once you turn onto a street, it's a little bit of a drive, and it's kind of a hard corner. And a, a you go into it fast. Yeah, you go. You into don't a, slow down. It's also like down a hill, and at the bottom of the hill is the turn. And I was turn. I was probably going like thirty, which I guess is a little fast for the turn. But I mean, it's normal for that. You're turn. also not expecting a fat garbage man to jump off the back <laughs> of the truck and run across the street. And he looked like the fat meme kid who's in the raincoat who's running. No, no, no. You know who I think he looks like? He looks like a he looks like the kid from the vine who is who is like shot of vodka. Damn yeah. the hatch. <laughs> Yo, what are we about to do? Yo, drink this vodka down the hatch. Come on. <laughs> Look, he's got vodka. He looked like this kid. Dude, he straight up. He looked like this kid. He was wearing Timberlands. He had his fucking neon yellow garbage, garbage man, man vest. vest. And fucking ran across the street, and I almost, like, fucking splattered him like a grunt in Halo. So we hit the corner, and then this kid's in the middle of the street. He turns and looks at us, and he has the look of God in his eyes. He's like, oh, I'm about to die. Dude, I Here we slammed go. on the brakes. And he just goes sprinting to the other side yeah, of the he street. Yeah, he did not miss a stride. He, he turned into He had fuck, a mission to dude, accomplish. He, he was fucking sweet tits in motion. Dude, this, kid, <laughs> this kid turned into Fat Deion Sanders and just made a booking towards no, dude, the other side of the road. We saw Cheeseburger Eddie. Celebration while he was running. Dude, throwing the was, legs up. It was wild. It was absolutely wild. I don't think I've ever seen the look of death more in someone's eyes than in this fucking kid's when yeah. we almost fucking I'm not slammed gonna lie. into him. Your car would have been so dirty. Dude, it would have been full of goop. I felt so powerful. I in a split second, I held a man's fate in my right foot. You were God, dude. I was God for a second. I was like, I get to choose if this man lives or dies. Yeah, UPS men are great. Garbage men are fucking idiots. Turns into like a GTA, like random character they have pop up. It's like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck this guy. Dude, I, only him. Him. I only would have gotten one star. Hit him with your car. <laughs> if, only if one park, star. If I parked in Riley's garage, it would have gone down and like. A minute. Just hide from all the cops. <laughs> right. Just hit a guy with my car. Fuck it. I'll hide in the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. 
I I think the eggs are cooled down enough that we can. Uh, All right. Yeah. So we're gonna we're we're gonna take a little break right now. We're gonna crack open these eggs. We're gonna get this fucking stove the fuck out, out of, of the here. studio. Yeah, it's too hot. It is, it's at hot. least eighty eight degrees in here right now. Dude, like the I am sweating. Of this shell is burnt. Ugh. All right. All right. So we're gonna crack open the shell right now. Check out these guys right now. They got what a great podcast. F- and we're gonna you're gonna check them out. All right. So here we go. Check them out right now. Bam. Sometimes you want to go where nobody knows your name. The Small Town Mentality Podcast with Ben and Austin. What's up, guys? Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. It's your host, Ben and Austin, from the Small Town Mentality Podcast. And if you're some real cool dudes... Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. Oh, my bad. We got to keep a PC for this promo. You can follow us on Twitter at STMPod, on Instagram at Small Town Mentality Podcast, and on facebook at stm pod you can find us everywhere podcasts are played yep so if you're some real cool dudes excuse me it's ma'am it is ma'am my bad sir i didn't mean to call you that excuse me it's ma'am it is ma'am i'll keep that in mind next time we have it up (laughs) come check us out small town mentality podcast excuse me it's ma'am it is ma'am i didn't even say sir that time Hey Hunter, what are you doing this summer? You know, I think I'm probably gonna I'm gonna sit at a uh, some at, stuff. I don't know where. At an event? You know, I was thinking of sitting at some events. You I know, was, I was thinking of sitting at some events. What too. what kind of events were you thinking of sitting at? I don't know, maybe like a concert or. You know, um, you know where I was thinking of sitting? Where? A sporting event? Maybe oh. a maybe a Red Sox game? Oh, I was thinking of sitting at a music concert. Ooh, you know where else we could sit? Where? Anywhere where there's an event. Anywhere that requires a ticket? Anywhere that requires a ticket. Well, dude, where dude, could we even get a ticket? You know, I've been thinking. SeatGiant.com. What? Or, you know what? Even if you're from Canada, SeatGiant.ca. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're thinking of getting some tickets to sporting events. Concerts? Or literally anywhere else that requires a ticket. Hit up Seat Giant with promo code PLUNGE. Promo code PLUNGE, P-L-U-N-G-E, discount code, and you will receive money off at checkout. Use us to buy your tickets. Go to concerts on us. We're going to save you some money. We're going to put money back in your pocket. You're going to hear those tunes. You're going to hear those horns go off when goals or home runs get hit on us. You go sports ball. Yeah, so when sports balls happen, you're going to be like, wow, thank you, PLUNGE. And when you have instant gratification from a music concert, you're going to thank us too. Yeah, so you know what? No problem. It's it's our pleasure. It's on us. If you want to go to the Super Bowl and spend like $4,000, put some money in our pockets. Put some money in your pockets. Promo code PLUNGE. So check it out. Thank you, guys, and I hope you enjoy the episode. Happy watching. All right, we've had some interesting egg findings. Also, check out those guys' podcasts. Check please. them out. Uh, they're gonna be, okay. My egg is fully. Are you unwrapped yet? I'm unwrapped. Dude, I'm un- mine is smooth. <laughs> Yours mine is, is straight my, hard-boiled egg. Mine is not smooth. <laughs> All right, wait, wait, wait. We gotta cut into each of these. So put yours down. Put yours down. No, no not on the fucking table. I'm on not, the plate. You dipshit. I'm put moving the, the shells. All right, I'm gonna cut it straight down the middle. Okay. Yeah, nice. That's a hard boiled That is a hard. That is a textbook <laughs> hard boiled egg. That is a textbook hard. Bravo to us. You want half? I don't, dude. I don't like hard boiled eggs. I'm gonna take a bite. Someone else has to take another bite. I will. No. I'll take. I'm gonna a take a bite, bite of, of the hard fried egg. <laughs> jo- Joe, cheers. Cheers. Bin cheers. Bin, cheers. <laughs> It's so dry. It is dry. Though. <laughs> it is dry as fuck. Oh my god. I'm okay though. That makes me feel so uncomfortable. So my egg. You're not even eating it. The no, shell. I know. It, it the shell. Matter. The scrambled egg did not. The quote unquote scrambled egg <laughs> did not remove the shell as Dude, smoothly. It looks foamy. But the thing is, like. You can see some um, some it's yolk. Just the yolk. It kind you can of see looks some yolk near the exterior. It, it absolutely does not. That well, that We're yolk gonna find looks out. different than that yolk. If then. there's a significant yolk, that means it probably scrambled. No, if it looks the same as what we just. I had. agree. No, I agree. Well, we'll have to decide on what a significant. It depends yolk what is. it looks like. I think yeah. we'll know immediately. So three, two, one. We're gonna cut straight down the. Should we cut down the middle or near one of the sides? Middle, just middle. any other middle, one. Middle yeah. and then for if fairness. it's if it's up for question, we'll go near one of the sides. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so here we go. Ooh, it looks too no, similar. That's it. That, is, that is hard boiled. It's it just too looks similar. Like, because yours cracked. I don't think it cooked as thoroughly. Yeah. Yeah, that's a hard boiled. Yeah, that's egg. A hard boiled that egg. is a straight up hard boiled egg. Damn it, Hunter! I'm fucking two for two, Hunter. <laughs> I'll take pride in knowing that I smoked you in the last jump ball we did. Yeah, it's fine. But big friendship arguments mean more to me. Yeah, I agree. So you ha- close. We have I'll to. We have to cheers well with these done. eggs. I'm not eating it. You have to, dude. I will Out actually. Out of pure vomit. content, we have to. Okay. We have to cheers for content. Cheers, cheers. on this gross, hard fried egg. Nope. Put no, it in your no, mouth. I'm not Put fucking, it in I'm your not mouth. Fucking doing it. Put it in your mouth. Joe, Hold your breath. Hold Put your breath. it in your mouth. Put it in your Hold mouth. Hold your breath. Out of content. Joe. Three. Two, one. What oh. the fuck? Oh, God. God. <laughs> He's eating Honestly? it, though. He's Listen, doing it. It tastes better than the first one. It tastes better than the first one. It t- that one tasted like a hard Yeah, because mine got fucking smoky on the inside. There's some burnt parts. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, what? <laughs> that did not... I'm disappointed. I thought it would scramble. I I was very confident with the scrambled. I mean, can we, both produ- can we take a pause real quick, producer Tuba? Can we get these thrown in the trash real quick? Yeah, instead of fucking putting. Can we get these out of the studio for the egg smell? You are the egg smell now. All right, so we're gonna take. We're gonna be back in a second once we get these eggshells out of here. All right, so we're back, Hunter. I fucking hate that you're right on both of our arguments. I what do you ge- hate more, being wrong or my smugness about being right? You're generally good about these because once you win, you're like, you know you're right and you know it hurts me that I'm right, so you don't really brag about it. So I'm pretty fine with that. Um, but, like, you know, I'd le- I would I generally, I'm a good sport about these. You I'm are, not a good are. sport about lo- losing most of the time. You're a bad sport in the moment because you think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I genuinely thought, like, Joe, you're with me. I genuinely thought I, I genuinely thought it was going to be scrambled. I thought 100%. I could shake it enough 100%. to crack that fucking yolk. Team That's Hunter. generally, I generally. Just, just th- for the record, uh, Producer Tubes was on my team, so good on you. Good on you. So, yeah, me and Joe were wrong. Dude, but he's banned and he still got a win. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but right now. Joe may be wrong, but he's all right because we're helping him out with Tinder. I've been really trying, baby. Trying to hold back and feel it for so long. Uh, yeah, Joe's going to fertilize an egg. I am because. So we've helped Joe slide into some DMs of one. Uh, I The one that we're going to move into is the one that. It was a solo mission. I sent one one message and I got just. LOL. So in lovely. response, so... <laughs> it, was, it was a bit rough. Dude, I'm batting and two for two tonight. I'm batting like 0 for 7, because I helped you out. I tried to help you make a DM lately, yeah, and you got left was... on red. <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on. Let's let's get an update on that one. Nothing. Still still left on red? Hold on, hold on. Uh, where is she, where is she, where is she? Uh, yeah, still on scene. What what did I say for you? So Hunter, so, Hunter, no. Hunter, Hunter came to me, he's like, hey man. Do you want to message this girl for me? I don't know what to say, but you might. And I was like, okay, I'll give it my best shot. And I sent a terrible line. I'll be honest. He, to the thing is, I fucked up. Yeah, he fucked up. He attempted to send a GIF. Didn't work. It sent us just a photo. So I sent it just a photo. I meant to send a gift. A GIF. A GIF? <laughs> I meant to send a GIF of a an, ice, an ice climber chopping into a piece of ice and then it just breaking on him and probably leading to his death but just breaking <laughs> and along with the message what did it say exactly it said exactly okay well now that the ice has been broken comma hello my name is hunter <laughs> so the gif was supposed to be like yeah ice is broken how are you it sent us a photo of just an ice climber sitting on a piece of ice <laughs> oh so yeah the the photo was, it was just a photo. It wasn't a gift. He got le- sent on, he got left on red. Big time. So that's fine. But now we're on to Joe now. I also have a new woman in my life. But that's bin a, Bin. That's a topic for another time. <laughs> so currently, uh, Hunter has helped me with four different people. So one woman who, one four. woman who are helping, we're, we're going to get the deed done is a woman named Kirsten. Mm-hmm. Now, Joe, let's go through the whole entire conversation. Oh, for Chris? Yeah, Kirsten the Tinder girl. Kirsten, okay, okay. This is how it started, all right? This is the one that responds LOL, but... 
To me. To, to, to <laughs> Riley. So it starts off as, hey, yo, girl, you like ripped pants? <laughs> Question mark. She goes, I do. Why? Because I will rip those pants right off. Ayo! <laughs> Hunter lines, bull. Yeah, cash <laughs> money. She goes, ha, good one. That's what I've been told. Pause my favorite one I've heard. And the, this is Riley's line. This is a Riley line. You'll be the favorite one I hear, too. She just goes... Wait, wait, wait. There's emojis. Oh, there's emojis. There's, there's emojis in there emojis. that make it more like, hey. hey it's, a, it's the smirking emoji, like the... Hmm, you know, and, and the, then a devil, the devil emoji. emoji, the purple one, the purple, the purple one. one, not the, <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> devil, <laughs> devil mask. To which she responds, "Lol." <laughs> <laughs> so Riley's over two. Riley's over two. Hunter jumps back in. Hunter jumps back in. I tried to save it. I tried to remedy the situation, <laughs> and it didn't work out. So wait, what? I thought it did. It's no. What did Hunter say? Uh. He responds to, you free tomorrow, my spicy chimichanga. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to point out that a Joe is of Asian descent. so Malaysian. To Malaysian. Be specific. Not Mexican, where chimichangas are from, but Asian. She might she might think. She doesn't he know. He looks Mexican, know. if you didn't know, to the untrained eye. It's true. He looks like a cholo. <laughs> <laughs> a cholo. So... With that, we're gonna we're gonna keep you updated on Joe's sex life. Oh here. no no no! Get the other one. Get the other one. There's one that's like a, a ten four in progress. You have a better one. Or... Die. We got a straight fire. All right. There's... Oh shit. All right. <laughs> Let me see this one. All right. So Hunter starts off as, "Hey, are you into chokers?" She... I'm a big ambiguity guy. You really Do you are. have a bandana too? Are you <laughs> that true of a cholo? So she goes potentially. Hunter goes. My hand is the new trend, but I don't know how trendy you are. <laughs> With the shrugging. With the shrugging you, emoji. Hey, you had it as a white dude. I made him a little tanner because <laughs> you got a little color going But either on way, the guy was my really questioning the statement. <laughs> yeah. She goes, fairly trendy, I like to think. And then Hunter goes, what are you doing tomorrow night? She goes, working till night. How about you? And then Hunter goes, coming to your house after nine, question mark? So we are waiting for an answer. Ooh. I'm going for a record in minimal amounts of messages to get some pussy. Yeah, you're being very bold tonight, and I gotta like it. I love so, it. I love so it. I do too. You're bold really, is the way to go. We're really That's working true. for Joe. Why um, would I say something so bold yet so controversial? For pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Always for pussy. Always for pussy. Um, so speaking of pussy, cats. Cats are part of animals. That's animals true. are protected by PETA. And we're going into our new segment called Hey, hey PETA. PETA. So you may remember from a few episodes ago, we had some beef with PETA. We were on their good side, then we were on their bad side. I'm definitely on their bad side. I'd like to just, they have a questionable Twitter. And they I, have a savage Twitter. I, I do very agree. savage. I'd like to talk about some of their tweets. This goes with our current topic of the night. They have a tweet 11 hours ago that says, How to protect birds every day. Don't litter. Don't eat them or their eggs. <laughs> no chicken or eggs. We're already failed. We've ate in a couple eggs now. Uh, don't wear their feathers. I can manage that. Don't buy bedding or ja- don't buy down bedding or jackets. That seems like a bold question to ask from PETA to not ask people to buy bedding or jackets. Do they want us to be cold? The, PETA we're wants leather. A, we live Come on, in New England, England, man. What the fuck? PETA want yeah. We're from New England. We need jackets. What we're synthetic fuck? polymers that ruin the environment. Duh. Uh, they, fuck us. Yeah. They also go on to ask, don't chase them around the park. How am I, I gonna? I how am I gonna have anything. fun at the park? What am I gonna do every Sunday? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything of killing a bird? How does chasing a bird around a park kill it? It makes them sad. <laughs> depression <laughs> the has leading, forced me into a suicidal depression. <laughs> the leading cause among birds and is sadness. They finish this tweet with "Don't cage them" with a bird emoji. It also says Hash- hashtag National Bird Day. When's today? I, uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, they also have a tweet that says, Breaking, New York City just finalized rules restricting horse-drawn carriages. What? The fuck does that That's the only reason I go to New York City is to be <laughs> drove around by a horse-drawn carriage. I uh, do it because there's a lot of people and it gives me <laughs> severe anxiety. Their, yes. their next tweet, their next tweet following this immediately says, The best BLT comes without dead piggies. That's a lettuce what? tomato. <laughs> it's got yeah, a, that's just, a salad. That's I will say it's, it's got a very elaborate video of the recipe. Though. Dude, it literally is a salad. It's 
It's, it's, it's a lettuce salad tomato with, with really big croutons on it's, the side. No, bro, it's, it's just it's so gross. By the way, they're making. Well, no, it's a BLT. It's a bread lettuce tomato. <laughs> the way they started, yeah, it dude, looks it's like literally tar. a salad. A crouton is just a toasted piece of bread. Do you not toast your BLTs? I always. That's just salad BLTs. in sandwich form. Uh, they then go on to tell you that eating vegan can reduce the risk of type two diabetes, cancer. Heart disease, high cholesterol, osteoporosis. You know what can do that? I and high blood pressure. You know what can do that? Can drinking can drinking about more water. About, the, about them saying it was vegan. Did you see the tweet that they did about the two like being vegan and being the non-vegan? Fucking? The fucking. The they're, fucking. They're literally having sex in a tweet by PETA verified. And literally the guy who's not vegan apparently doesn't finish and doesn't satisfy his partner. Walks out of the building and dies from an AC falling from the roof. And apparently, if you're not vegan, you're going to die from an AC. You die it. from air conditioning. All right. Uh, they have a tweet from two what? days ago. It says, animals who are killed for food, uh, parentheses. And then it goes on to list cute emojis of a cow, pig, chicken, fish, chicken, <laughs> chickens. frog, lobster, or crab, ch- uh, a chick, duck, octopus, goat, dog, snail. Uh, Who's out here eating a moose, dog? Moose, cat. Another moose, shrimp, rabbit, crocodile, horse, shark, octopus. I li- <laughs> this is animals who should be killed for food, and then the zero emoji. I shouldn't say, you know, I. We live in New Hampshire, and not one person have I ever met eats moose. Ever. You're hanging out with the wrong crowd, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I hear venison, deer, plenty. That's- but moose? No. I've never seen that. I've never heard anything about people eating If you wouldn't eat your dog, would you eat a turkey? (laughs) That's a PETA promotional movement. Dude, I'm going to go home and eat both my dogs just to prove a point. Fuck them. They're just the same as turkeys. Apparently, to PETA, according to PETA, they're the same as fucking turkeys. Would you let your child smoke cigarettes? Like smoking, eating causes heart disease and cancer. Eating meat. Eating meat specifically if you causes it, yeah. heart and disease and cancer. Uh, they also want to let us know don't go to SeaWorld in 2019. Uh, Dude, you know, you know that that's one thing I do agree with. Is, you know what blows my mind? Shamu isn't the same Shamu. They keep moving it, and it's a different orca. Sham two. Sham two. You sequel. might as well save you know the same name. Yeah. Yeah. You're not gonna change it for every whale you steal from the <laughs> environment. I would eat a. Fucking pug if I had to. That's what's on <laughs> That's the screen not a right pug, now, and I'm boy. pretty hungry. You know, I work with dogs, and I should know that. It looks more like a lab. All right, so they also had a, a span of, like, tweets directed immediately to you, the reader, on New Year's Day. No way. So, it says, you can spare animals a miserable life by not buying a ticket at attractions. You can reduce your carbon footprint by not wearing leather. Uh, you can choose to save the lives of nearly 200 animals by leaving them off your plate. That's it. That's all they use. <laughs> what am I going to eat for protein? Beans. <laughs> no, no, no. Beans are against vegans. You know you know what's really fucked up? Vegans are eating, like, grass and dirt and stuff, and that's what animals eat. So they're actually fucking over animals. I will say they're, they're taking f- their food. Yeah. I will say PETA is very about Carl's Jr. because I guess they have more vegan options on their plate. Good for you, Carl's Jr. We're proud of you. No, yeah. fuck you, Carl's Jr. I don't Jr. think yeah. it's a great thing to support veganism. I think it's good to give them options. Give them options. If you're yes. into it, great. If you push it on me, fuck you. I like my nice hard eggs that we make in the podcast studio. Nice burnt hard-boiled eggs. The, the, They're no, the no, best no. They're thing f- you could eat? They are not hard-boiled eggs. They're scrambled hard-boiled No, eggs. no, no. They are fried hard-boiled <laughs> eggs. I thought we just dis- decided on this. We one. out here making new kind of eggs. <laughs> the newest eggs. <laughs> All right. So we're going to jump into some segments. It's... What, yeah, we're... <laughs> so... I like this. We're going to do some aftermath. We haven't done this episode, we haven't done this segment in a very, very, very long time. But I feel like it's a very good drunk segment. Mm, We're going to be drunk at this point. Everyone gets one, okay? Everybody gets one. Hunter, what pisses you off today? The fucking DMV. Go on. That's it. Go on. (laughs) The DMV. Dude, I haven't had to go there since I was 16 when I got my license. And I don't have to go again until this August. But it still pisses me off. Here's my thing with the DMV. Thank you, Hunter. 
those motherfuckers take so long, and it's such a small system for so many people. You have one place for a whole city to go to. Yeah. And do your Department of Motor Vehicle bullshit. Bullshit. (laughs) It's like, what? Can we get at least two places to go? I don't know. Wait in line. I want heavy, like, you, you do line, know full speed. Wait in line for an hour you for do, two you slow people to You do help know you, out. you can go to another city's DMV, correct? I yeah, we're all the, to be honest, I didn't know that. <laughs> where all the people didn't from know that. that city want to go? Yeah, fuck fuck those, them. Fuck that. Yeah, fuck that. Who wants to go to Claremont's DMV? <laughs> fuck Claremont. To be fair, I'll you, go to Milford because it's got yeah, the word MILF in it. You. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, shout out to our MILF Wendy, our MILF Blunt Mommy, and our MILF Don. Blunt Mommy. Oh, shout out to Don. Your smoke show. Hit oh, me up. Oh, Slide into my DMs on Twitter. Seriously. And. Shout out to our dad. You Glenn are is my our dad. <laughs> You're my dad. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Glenn is our dad. He's, He's our, our dad. dad. Boogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs> so shout out to our mom and dad. <laughs> Wait, both mommy and papa Glenn are... Ooh, no. that'd be a hot couple. Yeah, Glenn's a good-looking dude. And Blunt Mommy's a good-looking woman. You yeah, guys would no, have... she's wait, all mine. Wait, what, what am I saying? Wait. They'd have some good-looking wait. children. They do have yeah. good-looking children. They're yeah. us. Yeah, they, they got an A team of kids and a B team of kids. <laughs> they have eight kids. <laughs> what is this, the 40s? Is the like... They've never met, but they have a, ma- a, a bunch of podcasting children. <laughs> Yeah, so um, me what? and Blunt Mummy, Mummy, <laughs> <laughs> Blunt Mummy, Mummy, are the gonna mummy. audition, and ho- maybe someday I'll be on my favorite website, Family Strokes. Okay, there you go, Blunt Mummy. We can do this. This is a shout out. So Blunt Mummy, if I'm not, if I'm hearing this correctly, Hunter is inviting you to make a video on Pornhub, correctly labeled. Stepmom sucks stepson's dick in Five front of two stepson's in dick. front of best friend for hours till he comes a huge load in her mouth. Yeah, During not podcast. not only is it a family strokes, it's a cuckolding video too. Yes. So who's the cuckold? Riley. Oh, I'm the dad. No. Riley's our dad. He's our dad. <laughs> Wookie, Wookie. 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 I can't get behind that. <laughs> <laughs> I can. I've seen some of the shit you do. You're not my dad. That sounds really <laughs> interesting to me. All right. Joe, what pisses you off today? Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man. That needs, wait, 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 wait. That needs no more explanation. Kyle, what pisses you off today? <laughs> uh, social media. Go on. Um, Twitter, specifically. The fact that people can just say whatever the fuck they want whenever they want is a <laughs> new technology that no one is prepared for. <laughs> what? <laughs> if it's the 13, the 1913s, the fucking 1940s, <laughs> I don't there care. Multiple 1930s? I, I would. There's mountains. <laughs> I would. I would like to confirm. There's 40 of them, and I can show you all of them. I would like to confirm. Twitter was not invented in 1940, so you are correct. But if it was, <laughs> there would be some problems. Fuck you, FDR, you dumbass bitch. Get us out of this war, you motherfucker. You asshole. Is that historically I'm sitting correct? here eating half a loaf of bread. You guys see, <laughs> you guys see, the, you guys see this Hitler motherfucker? Look at these people following him like a little bitch. <laughs> Look at this man. He's got such a weird mustache. <laughs> that doesn't get my vote. Better have a nice beard, at it's least. A, it's a no from me. <laughs> Riley, you know, what pisses you off? Fucking airlines, man. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> All of them. Hey, wait, are you, going on, are you going to Europe soon? I am. Weird flex. Thank you. <laughs> but today, they, I got an email that was like, hey, your seat's been changed. They downgraded my airplane. To what? A Ooh. fucking boat? <laughs> <laughs> a smaller airplane. <laughs> We had seats A6 and A3 before. Cur- All right, hear me out. Okay, I'm listening. Those are premium seats in the new airplane. So they were like, now nah, fuck you, you're just normal now. So before, me and my other fellow 6'3 father, weird flex but okay, are now stuck crammed in seats. So I watched my dad call the airplanes today, the airplane <laughs> company, for like two hours, just yelling at them, being like, you need to rectify what you have done wrong to me. <laughs> he was like, I <laughs> specifically planned out my seat, and now you have wronged me. The best line, Joe, you have worked in customer service. 
Yep. This is the most bullshit line I've ever heard. He goes, I'd like to speak to his supervisor. They go, yeah, no, we have a policy that sp- supervisors don't speak on there's the phone. There's no way that there's a policy you can't talk to a supervisor. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing. Uh, I need to talk to someone about uh, something important. Oh, yeah, they're not here. We can't talk to you. Sorry. We can't move up the chain. So <laughs> You got to you gotta deal with me. That's it. Yeah, I look at my dad. I was like, I'm going to Google this. You give me a second. I Google like, you know what? I'm going to call him out. Fuck you, Norwegian Air. You guys suck. I googled Norwegian Air supervisor phone policy. Nothing popped up. So I look at my dad. Go. There's nothing. Get demand. Fucking talk to him. Get demand the shit. a supervisor. There's nothing on the internet. Tell him that. And uh, it got nowhere. We're now sitting in the back of the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, you have, have this... Rosa parked them and said no? <laughs> Well, no, I'm Rosa parking it currently because at this moment in time when this episode's released, I'll be sitting in the back of an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> she was still forced to sit in the back. <laughs> yeah, so literally at this moment in time, you guys can think of me. I'm pre-Rosa Parks boycotting, <laughs> sitting in the back of this airplane right now, <laughs> and hating my life, probably if asleep. You're, if you're boycotting, you're not you're going. Still, yeah, yeah, you're not going at all. I hate that. You know what? I'm I'm probably somewhere over the Atlantic Ocean right now. I don't just give a fuck. Are you just, are I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm probably you're asleep. asleep. You're just complaining the whole flight, asking for extra waters. And yeah, I'm like, give me more angel fucking pasta. <laughs> <laughs> and not that linguine. We want angel pasta. Just make a stand at Norwegian Airlines. Make it a stand. Off. Fuck Norwegian Airlines. <laughs> Those bitches. All right, we're jumping into aftermath. Another, uh, an- another, another fucking segment we haven't done in a very long time. This one we're getting. I mean, relevant. we should do a real life event. Aftermath of Riley's vacation. <laughs> you don't get to participate. That's <laughs> next. That's next week. No. Would you like to do it now? I would like Let's to do, do it. Now. All right. So we're doing aftermath. So what aftermath is is typically when we do this, it's we take a movie, a very usually well known movie, and we write out the plot of what happens after the movie ends. The last scene, we continue it. So, like after you, credits roll. This so is So, this is time. the movie of Riley's European <laughs> vacation. The credits end, but bam, here comes the plunge, ready to write the rest of this movie. I here think I got I got All a right, good I got, uh, I got, I got a good first scene. I got it. So, Riley lands and him and his dad have a long emotional conversation on their ride back to his house. And then we all come over and scene Hunter and Joe walk in, followed by Kyle behind them. Because there's only enough room for so many people to get through the door at once. We're wide men. We take up room. We walk into Riley's living room, living area, and he's wearing one of those stupid uh, New York cab driver hats and a scarf. Go on. Explain what that means. What's a New York cab driver hat? It's one of those stupid things that looks like an uncircumcised penis on your head. (laughs) Thank you. And you know why? Because he's cultured now. I'm European now. He's European. (laughs) His ten day or two weeks in Europe, he's cultured. I am. He he appreciates the finer things in life now. Not just one part of Europe, all of Europe. All of Europe. He's Mr. Worldwide, European edition. I am. Pitbull. Yeah. Featuring Ludacris. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah. What do you guys what what happens next? You guys are up. He he starts talking cultured man, all right. Oh, does he have an accent now? Oh uh, yes, yeah. He, clear Classic. accent. He's what what kind of accent? It's a combo. You got Is a it? fucking Cornish accent. <laughs> You're from Mixed fucking with. Middle Wales. I'm <laughs> not going to Wales. Oh, I didn't fucking ask now, did I? <laughs> it doesn't matter. You still take it on as a you take you know, it in Europe. You're all gonna right? be yeah. like the bachelor at. Oh, wait. The, 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 the woman, bachelor, from, the the woman bachelor. from The Bachelor. Who you're going to come back accent. and be like, Oh, the bitch was a fake Australian accent? Yeah, you're yeah. Gonna... She didn't lie, I'd like to point out. She said, my accent is Australian. She said, the accent is Australian. She didn't say my accent's Australian. That's she fair. said, That's the true. accent's Australian. Regardless, smart. Loopholes. you will have a British accent. Okay. And you're going to be like, Oh, hoity toy. <laughs> Fish and chips and all that. Very pompous. So what, pretty, pretty what you're saying is, can I also what you're saying that, is, episode thirty-two, I'm going to be British. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Can I also add, uh, he did say he's going to a football game. So a football, yeah, a, soccer, a footy, so, a, a footy. footy. He's footy. oh, he's already he's starting. Exactly. Oh, oh. Riley. 
All, all that in it. <laughs> Gabna. <laughs> the queen. The queen. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's only going to sing you he, two he songs. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Bono the whole time. God. <laughs> 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 I got a piece. Okay, fucking <laughs> Bono, you can go if you want right now. We're in a pause. You three take it over. He said he said, only sings Bono. So I feel like with the British accent and everything, you can you can only say specific phrases, <laughs> not even like full on sentences. Yeah, f- yeah fucking good. Yeah, fucking cut. Yeah. <laughs> Why you sound Irish? Irish. He's well, that's part of, of the Europe. UK. He's all of Europe. <laughs> Are you just gonna like switch between? He's okay. gonna go from British to Irish to. No, I'm gonna start speaking Wait, French. Cornish. Cornish. I'm gonna spe- start speaking French and Greek. I'm gonna start start speaking fucking dead languages. Start speaking Latin. Yeah. <laughs> like, whoa, where the fuck did you pick that up? That's not even European. <laughs> and you'll be like, Shoo be doo be do I, that's not even racist because no one knows what Latin sounds like. Hey, there you go. I just spoke Latin. I complimented you in Latin. Did What'd you, you say? You dirty said you, fucker. I said, <laughs> I said, I said you have a nice beard, you handsome glasses man. <laughs> I would have just called you a dirty <laughs> <laughs> This is the second consecutive week we've had the word <laughs> Also, Stu, bleep all those. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go on. What's Go the rest on. of this movie? Uh, and then... So you, showing off your hoity-toity new outfit <laughs> and accent. Your posh. I'm wearing Tommy Hilfiger everything, but it's the ones where the it's on the other side because they drive on the yeah, other no, side. Yeah, no, no, but like, but like the logo fills up the entire front of my t-shirt. It's like yeah. it's just like your pecs, like straight like out. To but you, a like, logo, yeah, just, <laughs> but a logo. Just a straight you get logo. A stupid haircut that's trendy over there, yeah. and it hasn't adapted well to over here yet. <laughs> it will in like it, ten yeah, years. Yeah, no, 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 in like two months. Yeah, he you you're a bit above like in front of us with like style, but we still fucking hate you <laughs> because of like you looking like that. Go on. I don't know. Because we hate you, we, we hate just... you with our cars. That's yes. the end of the movie. That's the end of the movie. I just die for. You turn into wheelchair Jimmy from Degrassi. I'm the, I'm the op- just... I'm the opposite realm of the universe where you hit the garbage man. But I am I am the garbage man. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm a tr- but I'm a trendy garbage man. <laughs> oh. That's that, a way to fuck with Either that or you become a wheelchair, Jimmy, where it's the scene at SNL where everyone just shoots their gun with uh, Andy Samberg. Ooh, what you say? <laughs> Ooh, that you only meant well. Well, could you say it? Ooh, what you say? Ooh, man, it's so fun. So does that mean in that part, your dad's the one, the police officer, just comes down, reading the note, be like, yeah, well, this guy shot this guy, this guy shot... This yeah, so instead of, instead of dear sister, it's dear father. My dad just got back from Europe, and I somehow died while also landing with him. <laughs> what? Well, at least we are Marshall avoid, 4? At least he avoided becoming a sex slave like that girl in Taken. We so, don't know that yet. I might never return to this yeah, show. That might be what you're I, I, I might he be might, capt- He might We Are Marshall 4 on the way back. A long road ahead? <laughs> back in the air. We Are no, Marshall 4 back on the Well, plane. no, it's We Are Marshall 5 back in the air. <laughs> And we crash again. <laughs> we go play. You know how you know the NFL has those NF those London games. Well, they're bringing college games. All right, we're go, we're jumping into a quick writers room. We are Marshall Five back in the air. the The NFL has sponsored one Lon- <laughs> has sponsored one Lo- one London game <laughs> held in Wembley Stadium. Wow. And it is Huge. it is being culture band, yeah, culture right? Man. Culture band. It is, is Marshall. Is this actually episode thirty, or is this like? Of it is Marshall. Into 32. It is Marshall versus Creighton. And they're playing in London. But guess what? They're not playing because Marshall ends up in the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, shit. And that is the end of We Are Marshall 5 back in the air. But it's the setup to Castaway. <laughs> and That's I'm, the perfect ending. And I'm Tom Hanks. And that is the end of both Writer's Room and Aftermath. (laughs) If you never hear from Riley again, you know what happened. Yeah, seriously. uh, Bye, guys.
We're going to do Avengers Infinity War, but fuck that. Yeah, <laughs> I, think, uh, I think that we nailed that. We're past that. I think that was perfect. How we <laughs> started the story, how it ended. We know what's happening. Yeah, dude, we wrapped everything up in a nice bloody bow. <laughs> a blues, bloody blow. I'd probably get right. eaten by a shark because I'm a bloody blow. Uh, <laughs> A bloody blow with a bloody blow. I'm a fucking Billy No Mate. I mean. <laughs> Billy was going from like British to like Australian, which is. We're somewhat being racist, yes. Billy Mays here! <laughs> <laughs> Shout out the Man Brain Podcast. Straight from down under. <laughs> Straight from down under. I come from a land under. Alright, so we're gonna jump into a few more. Great band. We have if a I can n- remember their name. We have a new, work. we have a new exclusively drunk segment. So this will be back in episode fifty. Fifty called "Let's Get <laughs> Episode 50. Yeah, called "Let's Get Emotional." I can go first. I can let's take. I can take the lead on Hunter, this one. Hunter, let's, let's get, get emotional. Like let, just wait, said, wait, let's wait. Get. Ready, ready. Three, two, one. Let's, let's get, get emotional. Like Josh theme song. <laughs> Hunter, you're getting emotional. Let's hear it. Yeah. Okay. So, as you guys know, Europe stole my girlfriend. <laughs> that used to um, be wait, emotional. Wait, wait. I'm going back to get her for you. <laughs> Leave her. <laughs> <laughs> so, I that that marks the beginning of my sad boy. I I I have been. This is this is real talk. This is a, a very serious segment now. We're I've been sad. I've been unhappy. Okay. I've been genuinely really? unhappy since I got broken up with in Texas. It happens. <laughs> but on the love front, a good best friend, a challenger <laughs> approaches. Ooh. And yeah, she's cool. She's as good. long as she challenges, that's all she, that matters. You want to love someone. She's sweet. She's smart. She's hot. And we're gonna see where this goes. So. The, uh, the Sad Boy Hunter era comes to a close. Don't Maybe. Rush it. Maybe. It might be reinforced by the time this yeah, releases. Yeah, dude, I might get skull-fucked into a spiraling depression that makes me drop off the plunge, but... Uh, That's where I'm at right now, <laughs> so it's okay. So, Joe, let's get emotional. All right, so... A sad boy that I am, you know? I started to like someone a bit, yeah. a bit more. Yeah, feelings. Yeah, feelings, right? Feelings! Uh. So I had expressed that feelings <clears throat> to that certain individual. Didn't get the same response back. Oh, no. Yo. Yep. Are and you okay? I am going down on the... <laughs> to Australia? Australia? That's a long flight. Down. Hey, at least it's not Europe. I don't need Europe to steal a friend and a girlfriend. <laughs> I'll be right here with you, buddy. Hey, I'm going to set you up with someone nice. He's I mean, Asian. It could only be Asia. He's gonna set you up with a nice main girl. <laughs> no, yeah, dude. Do you do you like people? Do you want a girl with daddy issues? Always. Always. I got you then. Okay. I'll make it happen. I make it happen. Handshake. Hey. Shake, 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 shake. Oh. So I'm so sad. Shake I can listen to Nine <laughs> Inch Nails right now. <laughs> yeah, Kyle. Yeah. Let's get emotional, let's, baby. Yeah. Emotional. Yeah. It could be any emotion. It could be mad. I could be putting on this happiest face, but I could be the saddest behind it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's emotion right there. So emotion tell, is being tell us able where to it... put up a fake emotion and holding the truth. Kyle, you know what? That's what I do wall. every day. Kyle, right? break down yeah. your wall. Yeah, let's hear the emotions. <laughs> I, you know what I've been trying to do lately is break down that wall all the time. Tell us more. Yeah. I want to be more emotional. I okay. want to be more truthful. Well, you know what's a good to time to get? You know what's a good time to break down that wall? And let's get emotional with the Let's plunge. get emotional is the best place to get so it because I'm it. the most comfortable in the most emotional environment. So let's hear your emotions. My emotions are kind of all over the place. I love this hey, crew okay. that makes this podcast, yeah, but I also you, hate bro. the world around it. That's okay. This is our safe space. Exactly. Nice if it wasn't for the safe space, I'd probably be a much more emotionally our, our safe, angry person. Our safe space is, is hot. It smells like eggs. It's uh, not very safe. I wouldn't it trade it for anything. anything. It smells like Budweiser and whiskey, but that's okay. I'm more than okay with that. ain't it. no problem. That ain't, ain't no, no problem. problem. It ain't no problem. If I could make it a problem, I would be Shannon Sharp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Riley, I think to uh, close out the segment and potentially the episode, 
Do you want to get a? Let's get emotional. get emotional. Let's get emotional. I don't have that much to get emotional. But about. would you fuck it? Ooh, we'll get oh. into that. So emotions, I don't have many at this moment in time because I don't have a job, but I also don't have school. I wake up and have zero commitments. So you have nothing to influence your emotions other nothing. than basic my, life. The plunge, my friends. I'm emotional about other podcasts on the NSFW Podcast Network. Like and who? Like, like Jason. He gets my emotions running in a whirl. Oh, yeah. He's from... Where's he from, Jason? New Hampshire. <laughs> Go on. What podcast? Oh, this shit happens when you party naked. And, and a lot of emotional things happen when you're naked. A lot of them. Some sex. A lot. Some sadness. Some, some deflation. Some deflation. Lots some of inflation. You know who? You know what other Jason gets me going though? Jason from HT Nas. Hashtag no offense. Ooh, hashtag uh, no offense. Co-host of Chris and the Duchess. Jason, Chris, and the Duchess on hashtag no offense. They I get me emotional. The, I bet the Duchess is emotional herself. I I was up till three in the morning the other day. Morning. <laughs> 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 Naked Skype and Chris. Hey, that's all. That's what this is about. And this my is emotions. The my emotions were running wild. My emotions also run wild for Adam of the Simmons and More podcast because I think he might be my older brother. That's okay. <laughs> oh, Adam. I think he might be. Ed, Bobby, definitely not my older brother. Is that because he is colored? He is a colored man. <laughs> you are just not a colored man. That's not racist. That's just I ha- facts. I have no pigment in my skin. But that's okay, Piglet? because I, I love them both. Color is also, so close to other words. In the Hood Diner, they get. I'm sad from them, because I do not live in the Hood. But I listen to them, and I love them. We love the Hood. We in the Bicker Bots here. podcast. Yeah, they, they bicker. We bicker. We all bicker. But that's okay. Mostly about eggs and bread bowls. Because I love them. It's because it's all one love, brothers. They get my one emotions love. going. One love. One love. You know what, though? It's a new year. I'd like to shout out some other people. Ooh. Can I do that for my emotions? Yeah, yeah like, of course. Like Glenn? Gl- uh, Glenn. We've already shouted out Glenn. That's okay. But emotions know no bounds, brother. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you should go check out the Glenn Thinks Stuff podcast. Yeah. And like sometimes I'm just like, I'm sitting there and I'm uninspired. And then I'm just like, get your grind up. From your second favorite host on the East Coast. Riley and Hunter. Also from the Young and Dumb podcast. Sometimes I'm like, hey, I need to be in Arkansas right now. I need to get a piece of my face shot off. And I'm like, I wish I was Jody from the Po' Boys podcast. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Sometimes I wish I was a hot MILF. I wish I was in a hot MILF. I would love to be in a hot MILF. Specifically, Blunt Mommy. Mommy. Yeah, yeah, girl, you're killing it. And lastly, my last shout out goes to the Small Town Mentality podcast. Because I won, we won, the plunge. There was a there what? was a there was a NSFW podcast network, Royal Rumble. Yeah. And we came out on top. I spoke most of the time as Elmo. That's okay. That and, ain't no problem. And, that ain't no, no problem. problem. And Elmo gets my emotions flowing. Ain't and no we, problem. Ain't we, man, brother. So you should go check that out from the Small Town Mentality Podcast. It'll be about two weeks ago when this podcast drops, but you should check it out. It's the NSFW Podcast Royal Rumble, the inaugural Royal Rumble. You'll check out your boy Riley. He comes in late to the Royal Rumble, but he wins that he shit. He still wins the shit. Winner, 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 chicken dick. I he come came in. in like Adam's fat fucking dick. Adam does have a fat dick, and we're going to finish this show with Would You Fuck It. Classic. Because my emotions are over. Yeah, I'm ready. I, th- to, oh. I think I think we can go back to talking normal. My we're emotions. Exiting, <laughs> yeah, I'm good. We're exiting. My the emotions safe space. have moved to just horniness, <laughs> <laughs> which is perfect. For would you fuck it? I got a good good first one. Okay. okay. Want mommy? <laughs> yep. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Easy. Uh, okay. More would I fuck it? I would love it. Ooh. Ooh. Second, hey, second up on the docket. Adam. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> oh, I would fuck it. All right. Third on the docket, Bobby. I yes. Can, yeah, I could yep. get what all up race in those buns. is he? He's probably got them cheeks, and I'd like to get up in. Yeah, I could. Clap I don't them. care what race he is, as long as he has cheeks. What 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 you got going up on in your brain, Joe? Right. What do you what do you want us to fuck? All right, hard boiled legs. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Yes. <laughs> wait, with no. the shell or without? Oh no, we've already done this one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Joe. All right, Joe. Oh, 
Shit, I'm on the spotlight. All right. Um, a bottle. Of? Just a um, bottle with whiskey in it. With I, whiskey I, in it? With I need to it. ask a serious question. Do I fit? Yes. It's it's just measured to your... your to, it's I, measured to me. To everyone. But my, it's like, ev- when you go full deep... It's you're, deep. you're touching whiskey. You're touching, correct? Yeah. I'm gonna Half say no because that's gonna burn my pee hole. I'm also saying no for the same exact reason. It's a waste of good whiskey. If, no, yeah, I would and then still if drink I, it, yeah, that's not gay. Well, I wouldn't is, drink it. That's not, my thing. Listen, I you don't have to finish it. Oh, it just my, have to just. Oh. I would finish in it and then drink it. That's that, a mixer. I would say no. I would that's do, a mixer. I would do none of the above. I would. Just the experience. You don't know. If I finished it, and I wouldn't drink it. But you don't have to finish it. I would drink it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. I got the next one. I have two actually. So I'm gonna do one. Then we're gonna send it to Kyle. Then I'm gonna come back to it. Would you? Would you fuck Tina from Bob's Burgers if she was of age? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> Go on. I don't want to hear that voice when I'm just. Uh, <laughs> I'd still do it. Yeah, clap them autistic cheeks. Autism <sighs> cheeks. Yeah, can I go now? Yep. <laughs> I really want Wait, wait. I need answers. Hunter? No. Joe? No. Kyle? Yes. Me, I would say yes. Kyle, you're up. Would I fuck it? Thanos. Woo! <laughs> he ends the whole world with a very so, solid wait, philosophy. I like, the I, it's so I, I like the idea that I'm the beginning of the new repopulation, so yes. Mm. Question. I know it's the it's <sighs> would you fuck it is the segment, but are we getting fucked by Thanos or is Thanos <laughs> fucking us? Both ways. Yeah, you're, in this in this world, blows is Thanos a guy. woman in this world? Dude, I would get fingered by the Infinity I'm Gauntlet. I'm fucking just Thanos. Saying, just saying. Oh yeah, he's so powerful. He's so smart. He's strong. He's I would fuck. I would let him fuck me, and I would fuck him. I think I'd just fuck him and then try to steal the dog off him. He's got the best. <laughs> He's huge. He's got abs. He's got pecs. He's, He's got... Oh, look at that booty. Tuba, producer Tuba has some great pictures of sexy <laughs> Thanos up on the screen. I like that. Um... And without that, I probably wouldn't be as horny as I am. But look at those triceps. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanos has a wagon. I'll give him that. Oh, yeah. Thanos look at that butt. Wagon. All right. It's to end so the episode, tight. to end the episode, would you fuck? I can't believe I just said I would fuck a purple man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the equivalent of saying you'd fuck a Teletubby. <laughs> <laughs> I would fuck a Teletubby. All right, well, now I have two. Would They're you fuck? So cute. I have two now. Would you fuck Tubby Custer? Yes. 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 Say, yes. I would absolutely. Okay, now my real one. That, that was just an offset of yours. Would you fuck Childish Gambino? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, there's an odd reason I would. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It'd be art. It'd be tasteful. <laughs> it would be. It, it would be, be it wouldn't be gay. Be it would be emotional. Yeah, be like I feel like soul. it would be nice. I feel like I'd be relieved after. I'd be like, ah. I feel like he would good. cuddle after and it still wouldn't be gay. He, he would brussel his beard hey, up to me and I'd be like, I would Thank feel you. so proud. Just Afterwards like, he'd listen. lean in and go, That's so pretty. <laughs> and I'd be like, Thank you, Donald. <laughs> listen, like Jason said, if the balls don't touch, it's not gay, so as so, long as the balls so, don't touch, you so, can do anything. So if, the, ti- if the tip touches the esophagus, it's not gay. No. I got, I got one more. Would you fuck a girl with balls? <laughs> Does she have a dick? No. Is it a girl yes. at that yeah. point? Yep. She, instead of a clit, Does she she's have got a, balls. Does she have a vagina? Wait. So is her clit just really a really big clit? No, it's testicles. But she has a vagina. Yeah. And no dick. She's got a vagina hole, but no clit. I am how does that look? I am all in on that. Yeah. What I, is that visually? How does that look? The I'll thing do- is, I'm interested in this because our nuts could slap together, but technically it's not gay. Yeah, I'll do anything once. <laughs> yeah. As yeah, long yeah. as our Great. nuts don't slap together like a good audience claps, what are you I don't do? think Should I would. What would you do? Stomach? What happened if you just mid sex and you just hear a big... Just with both your balls just clapping each other. I'd you probably stop? come. <laughs> it would be like when you like wake up from a dream and you're falling. It would kind of be like that. It'd be like, oh shit, I'm fucking a man. That's... <laughs> All right, so thank you guys very much for tuning into this episode of the Plunge. We'll the be back. We'll be, Is yeah. that Sandra Bullock? Nope, that's a bald dude. <laughs> <laughs> we have producer uh, Tuba googling tranny with testicles. Uh, so we're going to end it right there because we don't want him to get any further. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in this week. We'll see you when we're at this state of inebriation again in episode 50. 
Uh, and you know where to find us. You, you know, know where, where to find, find us. us. All listening platforms at Plunge Podcast on Twitter at the Plunge Podcast on Instagram T H E Plunge Podcast. Uh, thank you guys so much. We love you. Peace we're gonna out. go fast. We're gonna yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go sleep. <laughs>